from force, you will go far and you will exceed all expectations. I know this because you have been blessed with the good fortune of having fantastic instructors who have taught you the fundamentals of nursing. As Ford's graduates, you are our future and your knowledge, skills, and compassion to care for the sick will be far reaching. You are a formidable force. Because you are Ford's graduates, it is your duty to reach out and support other students who may be struggling, who have lost focus of their goals, and may be contemplating giving up. You are Florida's graduates, and you understand that it takes a village to get through nursing school. Remember, somebody helped you and all of us to get to where we are today. So a kind or encouraging word, a study session, being a mentor or just listening and being non-judgmental can make a difference in the path one chooses and help them to find their way. Next is O. The world is your oyster. What does this mean? It means that your work ethic, commitment, and dedication to excellence has prepared you to take advantage of all the opportunities that life has to offer you. You can do anything and go anywhere that you want because the world is your oyster and you are the pearls. You have spent years preparing for this day and I know that in some cases there were tears shed, days of stress and sacrifices made to get to this point. <laughs> Nursing is not easy. It takes courage, hard work, but you persevere. You study, you learn life lessons in and outside of the classroom, and look at you, ready to embark upon careers as nurses. The world is full of opportunity. You just have to take advantage of them because only you can determine your success. You are ordinary people with extraordinary ability. The world is indeed your oyster and you are the pearls. R, respect the nursing profession. How do you accomplish this? By displaying respect for your patients. This is the foundation of excellence in nursing care. Respect is recognizing another <coughs> human being as someone with their own set of values, beliefs, ideas, and thoughts. The nursing profession is the most respected and recognize profession because we provide the best support possible to our patients and their families, and we respect each other. Respect the uniform that you wear. Your uniform symbolizes caring, professional competence, and above all, unquestionable moral character. Uniforms help to foster the spirit Whichever uniform that you wear, ensure that it is clean, pressed, and neat. When you wear your uniform, hold your head up high because your uniform is a reflection of you. It represents your profession, nurses everywhere, your alumni, Fortis College. So wear your uniform with a sense of pride and belonging. Representation. Representation and diversity are also important. Diversity brings people together through all walks of life, but representation ensures that everybody's viewpoints heard across all departments and levels within an organization. If you do not see yourself represented within your organization, then change the landscape. Strong and positive representation helps to break down stereotypes that can be detrimental to individuals and groups of people. Next is T. You all have transitioned into beautiful pearls and you are ready to take charge and change the world. You have been taught by the best instructors and Fortis has brought, provided and prepared you with tool belts and the tools to build bridges and break through barriers. 
You are team leaders. No nurse works alone. And you will need to collaborate with all disciplines in the healthcare arena to ensure that your patients receive the best possible outcomes. Nurses, we are living through troubling times and there is much work left to do. In the words of the late great John Lewis, get into good trouble. How do you do this? You assess the situation, determine the problem, develop a plan, and set realistic goals with expected and realistic outcomes. Put your plan into action and evaluate and re-evaluate the plan until your goals and desired outcomes are achieved. I am sure this process sounds familiar to you. <laughs> Graduates, we need you to get into good trouble and make significant improvements in the healthcare delivery system. We need you to take a seat at the table to ensure that your voice and the voices within the communities that you will serve are heard and that people of all walks of life are represented. Join your policy and procedure committees, your ethics committee. Get involved in politics at the local, state, and national levels. Vote. Write letters to Jen Kibbins, politician, nurse practitioner, and U.S. representative serving Virginia's second congressional district. Let her know about the disparities in the healthcare system and that Florida's graduates will not sit idly by. If there is no seat at the table, then you will bring your own because you are Florida's graduates and the change agents for the next generation. I, you were intentional about becoming nurses, so I want you to continue to be intentional because it helps you to set and reach goals. Being intentional helps us to focus, develop a positive mindset, experience more clarity, and brings purpose and meaning to our lives. I challenge each of you to be intentional about advancing your education and careers as healthcare professionals. Aristotle said, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Be intentional. Then inclusion. Inclusion is defined as the practice or policy of providing equal access to opportunities and resources for people who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized. As the next generation of healthcare providers, we need you to ensure that healthcare services are equally accessible to all, regardless of race, age, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, or marital status. COVID-19 certainly raised our awareness about disparities in our healthcare system. We all witnessed the poor health outcomes for underrepresented groups. You have many challenges before you, and as the next generation, as the next generation of nurses. Everybody deserves affordable and easily accessible health care, and you can make it happen by intentionally providing informed and sensitive care and ensuring that your communities are represented with pe people who look like them. S. You stand on the shoulders of Florence Nightingale. We still use her principles today in nursing practice. You stand on the shoulders of Mary Eliza Mahoney, the first African-American nurse to work as a professionally trained nurse in the United States. You stand on the shoulders of Hazel Winifred Johnson Brown, nurse educator who served in the United States Army and became the first black female general in the United States Army and first black chief of the United States Army Nurse Corps. You stand on the shoulders of Dean Martinez, Dean Ignacio, Dr. Vita Armstrong, and Dr. Kimberly Brewer, and other nurses before you. So be thankful for the opportunities and doors that have been opened for you. 
for those who paved the way for you to walk through those doors and receive a nursing education. You are surrounded and supported by the force team who worked tirelessly on your behalf, behind the scenes and in and out of the classrooms. The Fortis team ensured that you received the best didactic, laboratory, simulation, and clinical experiences possible. Most importantly, I hope that we showed how much we care about each of you as individuals. You have earned the credentials of LPN and RN, or soon will be, right? LPN, licensed practical nurse. But those initials also represent leadership, professionalism, and the next generation of great nurses. RN not only stands for registered nurse, but for responsibility to render impeccable service because you are the nucleus of healthcare that will impact generations to come. In conclusion, celebrate your success and stand strong when it first be hit. For when the storm clouds come in, eagles soar while small birds take cover. Napoleon feels strong. We expect you to soar. It is your time to fly higher than an eagle. Spread your wings for women's rights. Spread your wings for equal pay, for equal work, justice for all, and spread your wings for love over hate. The Fortis team, family, and friends are proud of you. We have been, continue to be, and will always be the wind beneath your wings. So I have a little tribute to you if I forget to it. Hold on one second here. Just give me a second. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 